Hello, and welcome back to another episode of developing my tower defense game. This is our tower that we're going to be using. Right now, it just sits there. <laughs> um, it doesn't do anything, but I'm getting to work on making it detect the nearest enemy, which will then come out in the little output section. And that output section is with all the little colorful text in it. In order to get the current position of the enemy, we are subtracting it from the tower's position. This comes out as four digits with several decimal places. So it's great that we have the exact location of the enemy. However, we want to simplify it a bit, and we can do this really easily by adding dot magnitude onto the end of our script. You can already see, depending on which position it is, it just tells us how many studs it is away from the very center of the current object in the script. All right, so we have the position of the enemies, but what exactly are we gonna do with it? Well, we're gonna be simulating all of the enemies around the map here using noobs that are colored red, yellow, blue, and black. These are in positions that the enemies could be in, and we're gonna be finding which one is closest to our tower. If you are enjoying the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I've been seeing a lot of support in the videos, so I really hope you guys are enjoying them. Here you can see me putting in the maximum range or distance in this context of our tower and in this little function here we have it setting the nearest target to the nearest <laughs> to the nearest target um, which is in that script right there. So we have it looking for something near it, and the nearest object to it, but uh, because we're looking for a character now from a model, we need to look for the humanoid root part. Every single NPC, character, your player, zombies, <laughs> they all have this humanoid root part in them. So we need to be looking for that instead of 
I think I'm not actually sure what we were looking for before. Um, but there you go. Now we have it in there, and it should be working now. Ta-da! <laughs> there you go. Now you can see the position of all four of the enemies. And it goes down the list, checking to see which one is the nearest. So, if it were to start off at black, it would start, black is the nearest. And then if it found one that were closer, it would say, no, this one is the nearest. And now, all we need to do is add some damage, so it kills the mob within the certain range. In this case, it's 50 studs, which is way overkill, it's huge. But still. I want to give a quick shout out to the person who told me to do task dot wait at the end of my weld loops because otherwise it'll crash your computer because it keeps telling you to run the script and if we actually run it now you can see that it's damaging the mobs near it and then uh in a second it'll also dispose of the bodies <laughs> um but that's gonna be it for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe Thanks for all the support on the recent videos. They've been doing absolutely amazing. And also, we're going to get that 200 subscribers by the end of the year. I know we will. <laughs>